Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another Tinkercad tutorial. Friends, we are going to work with some parameters, so let's get cracking. We are starting on my website, hlmodtech.com. Friends, do not forget this is a tremendous resource. Of course, down at the bottom, there is a sweet built in messaging tool. You can click there, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. I do also want to mention we have the Tinkercad Community Discord. Friends, as you can see, there are more than 600 members in this. This is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. One last thing before we actually get to the project, I want to highlight the Tinkercad Shape Generator Catalog. This is a totally free Google Jamboard with all the possible shapes. There are two pages of shapes and what's excellent about this is that my students and I added the names to all the shapes. So now that we can use Tinkercad Search, you can easily find the exact shape you're looking for. and That's going to help us with today's project. I do also want to remind you if you click make a copy it will be stored permanently in your Google Drive so that you can always get quick access to it. Before we go to the project I want to show you one piece down here it's called a high resolution tube funnel. I saw some people asking about funnels we're going to talk about that. I also want to highlight another one called the double trapezoid. We're going to use those in just a moment. Of course now we are in Tinkercad I am going to hit new and choose 3D design. If you've never used Tinkercad before I always use sign in with Google. So real quickly let's bring out just a normal cone. I want to show you how these parameters work. I want to make a quick funnel. So I'm going to change this to 15 so you'll see it is wider. I'm going to change the base radius to 5 so it is more skinny. I'm going to do control D which is duplicate. I'm going to make the second one a hole. I'm going to make it 13 and I'm going to make the bottom 2. You can see if we orbit to look under that cuts all the way through. Instead of 2 I'm going to change that to 3 and press enter. Notice now it looks a little bit more like a funnel. If you take those two shapes and hit group, boom, you've made your funnel. It's that easy. Friends, that's how easy it is to make a simple funnel. I am going to double click this and if we click on the main one, I do want to show you if we go to sides, you can make that more smooth as well. If we double click and click on the inside one, make sure we've got the hole. You can tell it's switched. We could also make that more smooth as well. That's how easy it is to make a simple funnel. Friends, let's try that search. I'm going to type that word funnel. Let's see if it can find it. Bingo. There it is. This one comes out. It has parameters built in. So if I want the height to be 30 and I want the top to be 40, Notice this is the diameter, so we're doing diameters instead of radius. Let's take this down to five. You can see how quickly you can make a cool funnel and it ends up being more high resolution than the other one. That's how easy it is. I'm going to take that bottom and make it seven just because that looks too skinny. If I were trying to 3D print this, I would probably flip it this way for 3D printing. Just giving you tips. Finally, friends, let's work on that trapezoid one. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to just type trapezoid. We were looking for the one right here called a double trapezoid. I am going to change these numbers. Friends, I could just flip this so it was working this way, but I'm not going to. I want the base to be smaller, so I'm just going to type my numbers so that way it makes more sense as we build. So if I make my base 10 and I make my top width 30. I'm going to make my top length 15. That is a decent sized funnel, although I do want it to get thinner. So I'm going to do this base length. I'm going to just take it to 8. So you'll notice that makes it more thin. And these are numbers that you play with and adjust. Then we're just going to do that same trick where we do control D, make the second one a hole, and I'm going to say 8. I'm going to say 6, so I'm just subtracting 2, uh, 28, and I'm going to make it 13. I'm going to keep the height the same so it's ready to cut out. Friends, when we take those two and group them, boom, you have just created your custom funnel shape just like that. Once again, if I were printing this, I would flip it so it printed like that. Real quickly, so that I don't lose this project, I'm going to rename it. I'm going to call it Fun with Funnels. 
friends. I did do this really quickly. I hope it gave you a lot of steps. If you want to learn more, don't forget you can visit my website, hlmodtech.com. I have got tons of lessons for absolute beginners. And of course, if you need help, you're welcome to use the built-in messaging tool or add comments to this video. Friends, of course, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget you also make my day if you take time to leave a comment. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.